hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16 beta 8 update on my iphone 10r so as you can see from the screenshot i received ios 16 beta 8 and it came in about 161.5 mb on my iphone 10r also at the same time i have received the same update ios 16 beta 8 on my iphone 12 as well so for iphone 12 it came in about 225.8 mb so if you're having an older device it will be between you know 100 to 200 mb and if you're having sort of new devices like iphone 12 or 13 it would be somewhere around between 200 to 300 mb so we're going to talk about what are the new features or are there new any new features which is included with ios 16 beta 8 we're going to talk about that in this video so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and general and about section if i tap on the about section and ios version as you can see the new build number is 20a5358a and uh, before updating i had taken a screenshot let me show you that so before updating the build number was 20A5356A. So there's also a letter A in the end, but probably the iOS 16 beta 8 will be the last of iOS 16 beta softwares. And after that, we will be able to see iOS 16 RC, at least for all the developers or the public beta testers. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what's new with iOS 16 beta 8. So talking about what's new. So first thing is there is no new modem firmware update on both of this iPhone and iPhone 10R. As you saw from the screenshot, the update size was quite small. So, you know, the modem firmware on my iPhone 10R is 5.0.0.1. And also talking about this iPhone 12, if I show you the same thing, if I go to settings, general and about section, there is no modem firmware either. So the modem firmware on iPhone 12 is 3.07.00. Now, one thing people were asking me a lot about this iPhone 10R or the older iPhones that, you know, where there's this battery percentage option is available with the newer updates. So I'm sad to inform you that if I go to the battery, and still you can see there's no battery percentage option wherein on my iphone 12 i'm running ios 16 beta software is the same as well so if i go to the settings and the battery as you can see the battery percentage is pretty much visible so that's the main difference apple should have given the you know battery percentage option to the older iphones but they have not even with the ios 16 beta 8 now looking at the time frame i don't think apple is going to provide this feature anytime soon so probably with maybe ios 16.1 or ios 16.2 update maybe but that's something we can talk about in future but as of now there's no battery percentage so with this update there's actually no more new features because all those features i mean the development phase have been completed for ios 16 so all the features you will get to see on iOS 16.1 or iOS 16.2 betas which will come after the release of iOS 16. Now specifically with this update there is no new changes or no new features so at least we got to see the wording changes throughout the operating system on the previous updates. Uh, this update particularly does not contain any new features or you know the, at least the wording changes. So from the screenshot it was pretty much visible that you know the iOS 16 beta 8 it only contains the bug fixes you know and you should only install it if you have a secondary iphone so it clearly pretty much says that so i would definitely say wait for ios 16 public release or the release candidate which will be released uh, after the apple event next week so i'm pretty much excited for that but in this video i just wanted to let you know that you know apple has released ios 16 beta 8 now many of you also asked me about the performance so i've just updated it uh, last night and after that i've ran geekbench 5 scores so as you can see the single core score came out to be 1108 and the multi core score is 2454 i've run the same on the you know iphone 12 as well so if i go to geekbench 5 as you can see the single core score is 1585 and the multi-core score is 4059. So that's Geekbench on both of this iPhone. 
but you know there's no new feature at the moment for both of these iPhones on iOS 16 beta 8. Now talking about whether you should install iOS 16 beta 8, I would say you know if you are already on iOS 16 beta softwares then definitely do upgrade to iOS 16 beta 8. You get the security fixes or whatever Apple is latest working on but if you are on iOS 15 and waiting for iOS 16 beta or the public release to roll out then do wait for some time because it's just around the corner probably next week we'll get to see the RC and after the next week we'll probably have the public release of iOS 16. So with the help of this video I just wanted to let you know that I have received iOS 16 beta 8 software. So there's nothing new specific features or any wording changes I could at least find with the software. Comment in the comment section below if you have updated already to iOS 16 beta 8 and if you have found something useful or new features maybe some wording changes between the settings or in some menu. So I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. So then again that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Your like and subscription means a lot to me and it gives me a lot of motivation to put more content on YouTube. So with that being said I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.